Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. I, well, I didn't actually uh, hear that. I'll go really fast, as uh, some of you uh, so zoop from away. So, um, uh, a little problem I uh, put in solar voltaics ten years ago in our house due to rolling blackouts when Enron was gaming the system, and um, and I did it for backup power. Uh, so it included batteries, which is really complicated. Um, and the decades grid reliability since then has been really excellent. So actually, when I measured how much power it takes to keep the charge state. It's high, so um, since it was time to replace the batteries, I decided uh, that fewer batteries would be better, uh, plus a generator. Um, so uh, the, the generator issues, you know, if it was natural, if there was a big earthquake, then the natural gas supply would go away. Diesel tanks going to leak and need refilling. So um, and they're smelly. So and where to locate it? You know, because it, it didn't really have a good place around the house. So. I was pondering the problem, um, and on an unrelated uh, thing, I was I gave a short TED talk um, in 2010, that some of you may have seen, where I proposed um, that, that the, this sign, among other things, which is a hybrid between the stop sign and the yield sign. And um, uh, anyway, so I was contacted by a guy named Richard Factor who had a similar idea. He called it the yop and the stoled st sign. Um, anyway, but uh, that was interesting. But he also had a site that, that was hosted on named Priops, um, which uh, stands for uh, Prius slash UPS. Um, and so what he, uh, basically the high voltage batteries in the Prius uh, run at between 200 and 230 volts. And so feed that into a voltage converter down to converter to 48 volts, and um, that which is the same as my uh, solar cells and batteries were running at. So uh, it required some soldering, and um, this is built this uh, on the uh, side here uh, are the these are the voltage converters. Uh, and uh, uh, anyway, so uh, put that in. Uh, the orange cables are big extension cords that connect to the uh, to the cars. The, um, these are the inverters that it feeds into. Um, that's the, the plug that inside the car that I hook up the, ex the extension cords to. A little thermal infrared to make sure that the wires weren't overheating. And um, anyway, so. So I, I tested, I uh, got three kilowatts uh, per car, so, um, and I think I can double that. Um, and it uses about 1.7 gallons per hour, which, which will operate at seven hours at, at full strength, but it actually um, doesn't normally need to if I, unless I have lots of lights on. So if gas costs $4 a gallon, um, I've found that this uh, costs $1.59 per hour to operate or 55 cents per kilowatt hour, and I pay 37 cents from the power company. So anyway, um, with... Um, so, so it saved me thousands of dollars and, uh, and uh, the space around my property, and I highly recommend it. That's it. Yes. Yeah. How far the extension cord allow you to drive with the car? <laughs> They're a hundred feet long. So they, they, they reach to my garage. Actually, they, the plan is not to run it in the garage because of carbon monoxide buildup. But um, anyway, so thanks. What, what's the installation cost at the moment? What's the cost of this? Uh, well, the biggest cost was the electrician building that box, um, and I had a, a non-standard. Uh, no, the Prius I already had. Um, the, and the, my, um, installing the wires in the Prius was probably about a hundred bucks. The, um, the the parts uh, for the uh, for doing everything was less than a thousand. The labor for the part of the electrician was probably about two thousand. Um, and the Prius. The the Prius I already had. So uh, there was no uh, no extra cost there. In fact, that now, uh, frankly, because of the system, I'm I'm going to be less likely to uh, to change it out to an all electric vehicle because this now serves this other useful role. So. Must it be a Prius? No, it doesn't have to be a Prius, but it would have to be a hybrid because it would, you know I'm basically it, the, it runs the generator. Uh, the generator in the car, which burns gasoline to, to create electricity to charge the battery. So you, so uh, an all electric car would not uh, wouldn't work. So, any, okay, who's next? <laughs> Gary's next talk will be fire code violations. <laughs> <laughs>